Meanwhile, there are questions about whether abortion is actually illegal in Arizona today. A, 19, a 1901 law banning abortions will likely take effect. However, a 1973 court injunction against the law has to be lifted in the coming days first. And as Joe Dana explains, despite the gray area, reproductive clinics aren't taking any chances. Planned Parenthood of Arizona's seven health centers have ceased abortions as of today. This was the scene at a Phoenix family planning clinic closed. Many clinicians are reviewing their legal options. The announcement is causing celebrations and mourning. At this moment, we're heartbroken. So today we are rejoicing. Two polar opposite reactions to a historic decision by the U.S. Supreme Court. The Catholic Diocese of Phoenix calling today's ruling a protection for preborn children. We hope that the culture of life is promoted, that we can be a support to women who are facing an unexpected pregnancy. We have more than 50 pregnancy centers in the state of Arizona that they can go to. The CEO of Planned Parenthood of Arizona says the abortion ban will have a devastating impact by denying a vital health care service and forcing some families to fall deeper into poverty. The biggest impact is really going to be on communities that um, already face uh, systemic barriers to accessing care. So black, Latino, indigenous populations, young people, people who are undocumented. Women seeking legal abortions will need to travel to California or New Mexico. The diocese is offering guidance to those women. I'm sure they must feel scared and confused, but abortion will only add more pain, so we are looking to support them. Planned Parenthood wants Arizona's women to know the clinics will continue to offer sexual and reproductive health care services, including gender-affirming care and cancer screenings. Our doors are still open. We're not going anywhere. We're going to continue to be here for our communities. Now, there was a law passed this legislative session that bans abortions only after 15 weeks, but that law defers to the 1901 blanket ban on all abortions. Now, whether the 15-week ban would take precedent would likely depend on whether the legislature takes further actions or whether elected prosecutors decide to enforce one law over the other. Joe Dana, 12 News. Joe, thanks.